Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Watch Monkey and today is a great day. Finally, after about a month and a half of waiting, a couple parcels arrived today all the way from Russia. So just to let you know, um, I've just recently started getting into Vostok watches and uh, boy, they're a lot of fun. But uh, I purchased two from two separate sellers on eBay. Um, please make sure if you're going to be purchasing watches off of eBay, check the feedback of the sellers. This is critical. Uh, so one of these watches was bought back in April 20th and the other one was on April 16th. Uh, and today is June the 2nd. So anyway, they provide a tracking in that. You don't really get any information until it actually comes into Canada. Uh, and then after, once it lands into Canada and so on, um, you wind up getting it probably in about a week or two after that. Uh, so what I'll do in a few minutes is I'm going to flip the, the camera around and let you know some of the things that I found interesting and uh, things that you need to know, like if you have to pay taxes and duties and that type of thing on these type of watches. Uh, but anyway, let's flip it around and check out and see what I got. Okay, so here we've got the camera flipped around and here are my two packages that came all the way from Russia after about a month and a half. So here's one of the packages. I'm not sure which is which. But this was sent by Alexandra Vasin from Russian Federation. And this one here was sent by Elena Meslova from the Russian Federation in Moscow. So anyway, um, here are the two packages. This is a real live unboxing. Uh, I, I haven't opened these packages yet. I really wanted to. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to wait and uh, do this in front of you guys. So let me get my high precision scissors. Pretty cool, eh? <laughs> so I'm just going to cut this open here. And I actually want to try and keep these packages relatively nice too. It's kind of neat to keep these type of things. Anyway, for me, just the fact that they came out of Russia uh, makes it a little bit more interesting for me. So here we go. Pulling this out of the package for the very first time. So you can see here, it comes in its typical red deluxe plastic box um all the way from russia so again this is exactly how it's going to come to you guys after about a month and a half and there's one of them now let's open up the other one now too see that says vostok and here this is the other one we're going to open up so it doesn't seem to be any contraband in here so that's a good sign and uh, there we go so that is cut open now let's get rid of that and let's see what we got okay so this one looks like it's got a little bit of cardboard around it and there we go uh oh yeah some russian uh print here have no idea what it says something about protein <laughs> but anyway um let's get this out of here oh she's got that in here good hang on a sec give me a sec guys and cut that open. I'm trying to keep this video short here because this isn't a full-on review. It's just an unboxing. Okay, so there are the two watches that came all the way from Russia. So let's open up this red one first, seeing as it's um, a little bit easier to open. It appears to be anyway. And so there it is. So this is exactly what you're going to get for about 80 to 100 bucks. And this is one of the Vostoks. And I'll do a little bit of a review. And there you go. And you can see it is a brand new watch. Still got the plastic covers on it and so on. So looking good so far. And um, yeah, let's just lay that down for a sec. But yeah, just you want to take a look at that. It's in plastic still, but it's a really nice looking watch. And the size is actually quite nice. Actually, let me just throw that quickly on wrist for you guys so you get an idea of the dimension. Again, for those of you that don't know, my wrist is about seven inches. So pretty standard size wrist. And you can see it's got pretty nice wrist presence there. Not not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I, I tend to like a little bit the watches to be a, a little bit bigger. And uh, this one definitely fits the bill. Oh, that plastic is on there pretty good. Okay. And so that's watch number one. Okay. And that's referred to as the Komandirsky Vostok. So... 
There you are. All right, so box number two. Uh, okay, this has still got some pretty heavy duty plastic on here. I'm gonna have to get my precision scissors out once again. Cut, 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 there we go. And uh, let's get that open. Okay, this is kind of fun. This is actually my very first live unboxing video. And look at that, as a bonus, it's a double unboxing with watches all the way from Russia. Okay. All right. So here's the other Vostok. So you got your, both of them had their instruction manuals and their plastic boxes. And this one's the really kind of the, the famous one, the quintessential Vostok, I guess you can say. It's the Scuba Dude. And you can see here, it looks fantastic. Um, let me get a little bit closer for you guys and clean it a bit. And again, you can see it's definitely a brand new watch. It's not used. And yeah, the bracelet kind of feels light a little bit. I'm just going to throw this on wrist very quickly for you. Well, it's kind of nice too. They've got it in uh, paper there, the uh, the model number. So that's a seven, 710 case anyway. For those of you that like uh, this style case, just remember that. That is actually my favorite case. So there you go. Just pop that on wrist and see what that looks like. And there you go. It's uh, This one's a little bit bigger. I would say it's kind of very similar in size to like a, a Seiko SKX. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to pop that off first. Again, this isn't so much about the watches as it is about what you're going to be encountering. So anyways, um, like I said, these two were ordered on eBay. Uh, so if you just search up Russian watches or Vostok on eBay, uh, you'll see there's plenty of choices out there. Try find a, a seller that has uh, got, uh, got good feedback. If you don't want to do that, they've uh, they've also the, there is a website called Marinon. Uh, you could order from there too. The prices are more or less about the same. You can search around. Sometimes there are good deals out there. And uh, but anyway. So a month and a half later, these watches just showed up. I picked them up today from the post office. And uh, I think this one here was um, about $90. And I think this one was about $85, somewhere in there. Canadian dollars, by the way. That's not U.S. dollars. Shipping is usually free. So make sure that if it's not you are paying shipping, make sure you know how much you're paying for shipping. Um, what else can I tell you? Oh, uh, no customs or duties was involved. Uh, they just came straight through without having to, to pay anything. I guess because the value of these watches are relatively low, that they just kind of breeze through uh, and they don't even bother charging uh, taxes or, or duties. They may if you're unlucky, but this time around, I didn't have to pay anything. So there you go. These are my two watches all the way from the Russian Federation and... Uh, yeah, uh, I'll be doing a, um, a review on these two watches very, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. And uh, that's it for this time. Take care, everyone. And we'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss another episode of The Watch Monkey. And let's make sure you guys can see my little watch monkey dude over there yeah he's just hanging out with the clock there you go okay that's it bye bye